stay black in America, don't leave, don't go and we're the greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. I'm just coming off a vacation, the first vacation I think I've enjoyed in maybe three years. Constant work and uh, after the um, pandemic and uh, recession, all little stuff we're going through, just been working through the whole thing, crushing bills, crushing obligations, uh, looking to sell my business, the process, the whole thing, but just working hard. And this, this vacation we just had, just this, um, this September, the um, the first through the um, through the sixth, was um, it was special in a lot of ways, and it was very um, disturbing in a lot of ways. Uh, um, the passage of time, you know. I remember we first started getting these timeshares in Virginia Beach. We probably have like seven weeks of timeshares, which is which, which is man the, the worst investment you could possibly um, do as far as is gaining a return on it. Worst investment as far as uh, when the children were young uh, and pampers and going to a, a, a safe a location, a beautiful beach. Uh, the same time every year was, was, a, was a wonderful thing doing then Didn't have no enough money to buy some beachfront home. We were early in our business, early in our marriage, early in a lot of things like that. So uh, it, it served that purpose. But as far as an investment, horrible investment, bad return on your money, probably pretty much no return. You're just paying, you know, after you pay for the thing, you're just paying maintenance fees now to keep it, I guess, up or whatever. And, um, it's not a lot of you can sell it and make any money. Now you, you can sell and say, well, well, well uh, I got a, one unit for, uh, it's running out 52, 51 more times. And how much is it I paid for that? Overpaid, everything overdone. Can't sell it, make no money off of it. So, you know, that's one thing after another. But inside the pool that, um, beach quarters, um, outside pool out there, out there swimming, you know, I'm a, I'll just start, you know, pushing around the water, push my wife in a flotation device and my sons. And uh, just, um, you know, a nice time, man. An older white woman uh, dancing and carrying on. Looked very, um, very old, very unattractive. Uh, but she was, she was dancing like she was by herself. Had her music on. Um, you know, me and my two sons, my wife and one of my son's uh, girlfriend was, you know, in the pool pushing each other around the or doing little, you know, games and stuff like that, water games or whatever. And uh, it was a nice time, man. It was a nice time. You know, we went, we went to, um, we went to the, the uh, movie theater there to serve food. Uh, I forgot his name. It's changed ownership maybe three times, but uh, still do the same thing. You know. Caught a nice movie, you know, uh, you know kind of dysfunctional movie. Uh, what's that guy? Um, uh, 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 a marble thing, uh, Deadpool and um, Deadpool and claw hands. What are they, what are they claw hands? Uh, Wolverine, you know, a kind of a kiss. A lot of uh, you know, a lot of killing, a lot of action. When, you know, just you know, it was already right moving. I give it, man, on a scale from one to ten, I give it a five. You know, and uh, my wife fixes, you know. It fixed me and my sons awesome breakfasts while we were there. And, and just one particular, you know, day we were leaving, we were leaving early. We were supposed to check out on a Saturday, but we checked out on a, we checked out on a Thursday. Yeah. Um, and we, um, she got sick, man. She was vomiting and spitting up and said she was dizzy and couldn't walk. And, you know, I've, ne I've never seen it like that in my life. Um, we had four children, and you know that's about the, the the point where she really needed assistance. When we had those four children, when we, you know she was living in the hospital, and a little bit after that, you know she was always back on her feet and strong, ready to go. But this is the time she, you know, she lost her footing. She vomited all up in the sink. Uh, she was just weak and and dizzy and stuff. All I could do was pray to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for recovery. And she was thinking about the ambulance, thinking about going to the hospital, thinking about a lot of different things. And I just felt uh, at that point uh, a passing of time. You, know? you live, uh, you try to enjoy yourself in this world we live in. We know a lot, a lot of people hardships. Even do this this same week, uh, another shooting happened uh, somewhere. And jeez, um, man, it was all on TV. I don't know where it was. 
Texas or whether it was Florida or wherever it was from. You know, young 14 year old boy killed four people and shot nine others. It was just things just happening all the time, watching all the news things, what's going on, politics, you know, current on. I'm thinking, like, you know, man, you better enjoy your life. You know? Whatever you have of it, you better enjoy it. Because, uh, uh, Freedom, free will, people are going to do whatever they want to do, whenever they want to do it. Uh, free will is what God gave everybody. So, you got to make sure that you live your life and do what you want to do and not try to get in situations where you're making life hard on yourself. You want to make life as easy on yourself as possible. You want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior and repent of your sins, man, because you're going to heaven by grace, not by works. I mean, thank God, God has made everybody go to heaven. Our bodies are just a covering for our souls, man. You know? So, uh, in the midst of all that activity and driving back, you know, and I, I was thankful I didn't have to drive there or drive back. When the younger days, did all the driving and driving around and doing this and doing that. And very fatigued and after working all, you know, putting in 14 hours a day, you know. But it was very relaxed as far as that. My, my youngest son did all the driving for me, you know. Man, it was such a pleasure to sit back ride shotgun out to drive. <laughs> so um, just that alone was a pleasure. So um, it, was a good, it was a good getaway, first time in three years, but um, I could almost just work, man. Uh, you know, I, sometimes it's better work and stay here, the obligations and, and, and things, but my wife fell, she fell. And when women feel, I feel I deserve this, I, I need this vacation. You know, I buckled in and gave in to her. Do I have an obligation? So. Wanted to sell this place, looking for buyers. I had it up on a, for sale for the last five years and couldn't find a, 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 a decent uh, price. Somebody was giving to me a, a decent price that I felt acceptable to take after all these years of uh, conducting business here. And I uh, thought maybe I should have took it in, in 2017 when you started looking back in 2019. Offered by two different uh, companies, two different guys that are doing a real estate thing, you know, which could have put me in a different dimension. Could have made, maybe not had to put a brand new roof on this place or a brand new air conditioning heating system. Just would have had the money and diversified it. And been a, in another um, frame of mind, another level, another dimension of life. Not in this thing I've been doing for like now 39 years, you know, since 1985 until now. So, or well, even longer, maybe it was 40 years now. So, just to say, man, that um, enjoy your life. Um, everybody, time is passing the same way for everybody. Um, Time passes faster when things are going really well. When things are going horrible, time goes slow, but it's still the same time every second, every minute, every hour. Same time. So uh, try to make wise decisions. Bad decisions, man, and bad choices just make you setbacks and make life just harder. Seek wise counsel. Pray, pray, pray to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Pray to God that he makes your path smooth, that you just not stumbling blocks, that you making wise and prudent decisions as you go along this world because many people are getting caught up in things they don't want to get caught up in. Many people's lives are cut short. Some people live a long time and they have a, a bad time when they get older, maybe they're sick all the time, taking medicine, maybe they don't have enough money to support themselves. Some people have a bunch of money and are lonely and depressed because they don't have their loved ones with them or never found loved ones. They, Allocated too much time to money and not to other things. So, man, it's just so crucial and important. But to know one thing, that if you can gain the whole world and lose your soul, what is that worth for you? Our life is but a small vapor. Eternal life is forever. So, as I say and as I know, uh, I've seen miracles and seen all types of things in my life. I know that when I pray, I pray to my Lord God and I pray for to my God, who's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who's the God of the universe who created everything. All these myths and stuff people telling you about uh, other aliens coming here, or this and that, and all that kind of crap they want to talk about. That's all antichrist. Anything don't believe Jesus Christ, the Son of Living God, is antichrist. Antichrist can always be against Christians one way or another. Just the way it is, just been said about it. And it's just uh, so many tricks of the devil that leads you into a. Um, Leads you into like unforgiveness and sin when it's so easy. The way Christ came and died for our sins, we didn't have to do it. 
We just accept it by grace and believe on it. And thank God I believe on it. My faith believes in a virgin birth. My faith believes in all that because I've seen evil spirits. You know, I fell in the presence of God, been filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues. I, I've experienced enough things in life, miraculous healing, everything almost, man, from fractured foot to acid reflux to sleep apnea to vertebrae in my lower back where they hurt so bad I couldn't hardly stand up because of friction of bone against bone. And I mean, so there's some amazing deliverances. So um, I thank God for how he's led me and guided me in my life. And when I made my stupid decisions, he, he's brought me through those things too. I mean, Lord, I made some stupid decisions in the process of living. Um, it's unwise decisions. God just overlooked that ignorance and, and brought me through it. I definitely went through the ringer, but he brought me through it. So look, like, share, and subscribe uh, to my channel. Um, and um, always, um, always seek wisdom and, and understanding. And, and wise counsel is always going to be good, man. And, uh, and um, Work without faith is dead, always will be. Without faith is impossible to please God, always will be. Uh, you know, so uh, just keep trusting the Lord, man. Don't give up. Don't never give up. Don't ever give, man. You know, and, and, uh, and um, the hard road is, is usually the best road. It's always uh, the thing you try to miss or, or not do because you try to avoid it sometimes. It seems always to come back and affect you one way or another. Well, you know, so don't quit on yourself. Keep uh, pressing ahead. Keep going ahead. Keep uh, never giving up because it's never over until you give up. So uh, the passage of time is what this has been. A sweet time, a sad time, uh, but uh, nevertheless, time. Uh, God has blessed me through all of it. So uh, as I ramble and talk this thing, time shit. It's a bad investment. <laughs> don't, don't sink your money into it and don't get no return on it. Uh, if you find yourself a wonderful woman or a woman finds yourself a wonderful man, you, you marry, you have children, you trust in the Lord, you love one another, you, you plan for things in the future, try to enjoy as much as you can. Uh, traveling is good, but I'm telling you, man, I wouldn't want to live out of a suitcase. <laughs> never like one and one to travel and pop everywhere. I never liked it. You know, never liked it. Never was part of my thing. Did check out Hawaii twice. Did go to Aruba. Did go to Jamaica and Cancun and a bunch of places in the United States. So I've done my shit, but Lord, I couldn't live out of a suitcase or, or make money living that way. Because, man, that would be a terrible thing for me. You know, jeez. But anyway, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time. Bye.